Don't put your yield at risk. Put your trust in proven solutions. Anvil Nitrogen Stabilizer, Super U Premium Fertilizer, and Tribune Nitrogen Stabilizer from Coke Agronomic Services. These products offer higher active ingredient concentrations imitator brands can't match. See the difference at defendyourn.ca. Bernard Tobin here at the Commodity Classic. I'm over at John Deere now, catching up with Bergen Nelson. We're going to talk some combines. Bergen, always great to catch up with you. Good to see you. Glad to be here at Commodity Classic in 2025. Now, we've always talked combines wherever we go. Uh, I want to talk about some new updates uh, for 2026. We've talked about automation in the past, predictive ground speed. Um, but some new developments there. Yeah, last year here in Commodity Classic, we introduced predictive ground speed automation and harvest settings automation in 2026, 12 months later. Uh, uh, we're introducing some new features to predictive ground speed automation, one being weed detection. So now the machine can control speed off of weed pressure within the field. So as those cameras on the front of the machine see weed pressure, it's going to automatically speed up or slow down the combine based off of that. Then also it'll create a weed pressure map that our operators or our farmer customers can leverage within the operations center and they can see that across all the fields they harvest. Hey, let's talk about green card automation um, and you know, more logistics there. Yeah, so uh, what we're introducing here at Commodity Classic with our grain cart behind us is combine auto unload. And so we've had machine sync in the marketplace for a while, right? It allows a grain cart to sync up with our combine, and then the operator can nudge the combine or the grain cart forward or backwards or side to side. But now with auto unload, we're putting a camera system on the unloading auger of the combine. It will calibrate to any grain cart, whether it's night or day, any crop. And once it's calibrated and synced up, it's automatically going to move the grain cart forward and backwards and fill the entire grain cart all automatically. The operator has no input. And once the uh, grain cart is full, it can take off and go dump on a semi, come back, it'll sync up, it'll automatically fill it front to back and take off again. So adding an additional automation step to machine sync with the introduction of combine auto unload available this summer for customers through a precision upgrade kit. Hey, let's talk about uh, grain harvest weight sharing. An another new ad here. Yeah, another ad to our grain car here is grain harvest weight sharing. So that allows us to uh, sync up with some grain car manufacturers to their scale head and we can pull the weight from the scale head into our G5 display so the grain cart operator can see live how much weight the combine is dumping on the grain cart and then that information also streams to operation center. So if a farm manager wants to see how much weight is on the grain cart, they can see it right on their phone through op center um, and that information is also streaming to the operator inside the combine. So with auto unload, right, the automation of nudging the cart forward and backwards to automatically fill it and then we provide those operators the grain cart weight information through grain harvest weight sharing we really have a lot to talk about with our grain cart and our grain cart logistics. Final thing I want to talk about, in, uh, and that is Harvest Lab 3000. You know, a really neat feature here about you know sensing protein. Tell us yes. about that. So Harvest Lab 3000 has been around for a while, but mainly in our forage harvester market. We put it on our forage harvesters. It's an NIR sensor that can sense different levels of protein. And now, this year at Commodity Classic in 2026, we have a kit available for our new S7 combines, uh, putting a harvest lab on the clean grain elevator, and that allows us to sense protein within small grains. So if a farmer wanted to segment his crops based off of protein, he could do that, and maybe it provides him a better price at the elevator depending on their protein level. Levels. So that's a nice new feature that we have available for S7 combines. Uh, Bergen, when are the updates available? Uh, what crop here? Yeah, so the, all these features that we're talking about here are for 2026, and that information will be available through our John Deere dealer network, and we'll have some videos out here in, in the, the near future, or they can go to deer.com and find out more. Great stuff, uh, Bergen. Always great to catch up with you. Thanks for making some time here at uh, Commodity Class. Great to see you. Appreciate you stopping by the booth. Yeah.